The mural on the side of the Watts Towers Arts Center campus building is small and seemingly simple at first glance, charmingly childlike. Brightly colored abstract shapes and symbols include arrows, zigzags and balloons. A cheery rainbow is at the top, a patch of zebra stripes at the bottom. But the simplicity of the mural belies the scope of its significance, said Alonzo Davis, the 79-year-old artist who painted it more than 40 years ago. Davis grew up in Leeward Park, where he co-founded the now-defunct Brockman Gallery, an important influence in the black arts movement from the 1960s to 1980s. He painted the mural in 1980 as a tribute to his close friend, the latest assemblage artist and former Watts Towers Arts Center director John Outerbridge, who oversaw the campus from 1975 to 1992. It represents a spirit and sense of community, symbols that reflect in my thinking about him, Davis. We were kindred spirits, both visionary types who had strong feelings about the impact of arts on the community. The mural is a tribute to his accomplishments. On a trip to L. A. In 2017 to restore one of his murals throughout the city, Davis painted about a dozen and spearheaded the 1984 Olympic Arts Festival murals along the harbor and Hollywood freeways. Davis visited Watts Towers and noted what terrible shape the work was in. It nod at him, how fragile the mural was, slowly and quietly deteriorating in plain sight. When Outer Breach died last year at 87, Davis committed to restoring the work, if from afar. The mural may have faded. But his memory won't, Davis said. It wasn't hard, he said, as Outerbridge, who co-founded the Simon Rodia Watts Towers Jazz Festival and founded the Watts Towers Day of the Drum Festival, was an inspiration to so many artists. In about five months the campaign reached its $10.000 goal, a combination of artists, collectors, gallery owners, friends, activists and Outerbridge fans contributed from $5 to $5.000 each. Davis said. Restoration is underway and will be complete this month. Davis said he's too old to restore the work personally, I can't climb scaffolding anymore. But he brought on 62-year-old artist Michael Massenberg, a mentee of Outer Bridges, to lead the restoration. Bringing younger artists into the fold was central to Outer Bridges' vision, said Watts Towers director Rosie Lee Hooks. So she and Massenberg decided to make the restoration a multi-generational effort, the power washing and painting and clear coating a performative ode to the man the work honors. Hooks connected Massenberg with Alison Dixon Duarte, 20, and Patrick Taylor, 29, both of whom teach at the CalArts slash Sony Pictures Media Arts program at the Watts Towers Arts Center, to help. 